Welcome, let's talk about offer up drop shipping and I'm gonna give you three pillars and a quick step-by-step -step on how to do this. First, let's just talk about the drop shipping model. What is drop shipping? It's you as the person that is connecting the supplier to the customer. It's being drop shipped from a third party source. You're just the person that's selling the product. Somebody buys it from you, one of your listings online, and then you go ahead and fulfill it and drop ship it to the customer from the retailer that you get it from. And there's so many retailers, I'm gonna give you guys a quick breakdown on a few different retailers that you guys can use, and then we're gonna do some research, show you guys a product, how to do it, how to list it, step by step, right here. So we're gonna be talking about offer up drop shipping, and it is against their terms of service. I'm gonna give you guys the three ways, the three pillars, three departments that we focus on daily to grow the business, to operate it. It's very, very simple. It's against the terms of service, how you're gonna go from drop shipping on this platform and making sure that your customers are happy, so stay tuned. And I wanted to make this fast because when it comes down to it, I'm sure you guys know how to simply list a product on one of these platforms, how to do product research. I'm just gonna give you guys the bullet points to make this something quick, effective, efficient. And if you guys have any questions, you can drop below. Let's talk about this. So let's talk about the downside of drop shipping. I wanna give you guys the downside first, the negative first. So if you are deciding on this and what, what is this long term, here is two downsides when it comes to drop shipping. One of the downsides is suppliers being out of stock. So you might have something that is listed from any of these retailers, Home Depot, Walmart, eBay, and at the end of it all, they don't have it. So somebody purchased it from you, it's a hot seller, other people are buying it, and no other suppliers have it, so what are you gonna do? You're either gonna have to cancel it, take a hit on your account depending on what platform, or you're gonna have to try to find somewhere elsewhere and purchase it, and you might not make any margins. So one of the downsides is when you're drop shipping, you're not holding any inventory, so you gotta really source it from any one of these retailers. This is really what it is, it's retail drop shipping. And if they don't have it, and you don't have any fancy software to tell you if it's out of stock, so it won't list it or unlist it, you're going to have to figure it out and possibly take a hit on your account. And obviously, you're gonna probably have to reach out to the customer, so it's just this whole ripple effect if the product isn't there and it's out of stock with the supplier. Number two downside is you have lower margins. With drop shipping, since you're drop shipping, drop shipping it from a retailer, you're going to have lower margins, and it's not always great, but hey, if you can make an extra three to five, 10 bucks just from an effort you did off one listing, and let's say you sold, you got $10 profit, you sold it 10 times, that's $100 profit for one listing you did, and all you gotta do is fulfill it. There's so many upsides, obviously, right long term, but downside is these margins aren't as high as if you bought it wholesale, held it in your home, and shipped it out. You wouldn't have as high of a margins, but I guess that's what drop shipping is for. So these are a few of the downsides of drop shipping, retail drop shipping. Now let's talk about just two different upsides, okay? What is an upside? What is a positive with retail drop shipping? One, just drop shipping in general, you don't need any inventory. No inventory, no physical inventory. You don't have to stash it all in your garage, in the back, in a closet, in your house. You have no inventory because you're drop shipping it from one of these suppliers, which is great. And that leads to number two, which is pretty much no cash up front needed where you're just like spending a couple thousand dollars on products that might not move. So you're testing the market and you don't need to have cash right away when you're doing drop shipping, which is great. Somebody buys, you can use your credit, you'll get paid, pay off your credit card, keep the profits. This has been drop shipping, and drop shipping has been out for, for decades. The methods have possibly been evolving because of the platforms, but the strategy and the exact way to do it continues to stay the same. So let's get into offer up drop shipping step by step. I'm gonna give you guys three points on the simple business model and how you guys can go out there and start this today. Like right after this video, like right now you take action. Number one is finding products. Now I'm gonna go and show you guys how I find products. You could source it from so many different suppliers, but you have to find products. This is like one of the departments. You need to continuously find products so you can push them out onto the platforms. Find products on any one of these retailers Home Depot, Walmart, if you guys are drop shipping onto the offer up, you can even drop ship from Amazon and eBay. And I'm gonna show you guys on eBay how to find products and possibly a new seller that you guys can literally just go ahead, use, go through all their products, and I'm gonna walk you through that right here.
So I just did a quick search on the OfferUp platform, and this is a replacement kit for the Nintendo Switch or the Switch Lite. And I'm sure a lot of people buy these because, you know, over time it gets worn out. And you can see, I mean, you can also see how many have been sold recently. This is the seller. You guys can go ahead and find the seller. It looks like they have a great rating. I always look at the rating. I look at the feedback. And then also I look at how many items was sold. I mean, this is average. It's not too hot of a product, but it's a listing that you can have where people can go ahead, ask for it, especially if you're you're able. And what's so great about this is you're able to ship this on the offer up platform. So I wanted to just show you guys how I do research. It's as simple as just any type of keyword. There's many ways to do it. I just wanted to show you how to do it or what products I would possibly try looking for. And there, like I said, there's millions and millions of products. You can look at all the other products they have here. Once you find a solid seller and people that sell a lot of products online, you can go to their store and you can go on and you can spy all their items that they have. And if they're a reliable seller, right, this person's top rated, then you can literally drop ship from them and you could possibly list all this. How much I'd list this on OfferUp? Uh, depends, you know, you could do your product research, see how much this really goes for, but people, they don't search on other platforms. So you could do it for like $15.99 or $19.99. And some people will try to say, go, Hey, can you do it for $17.99? And you accept it. And there you go. You made your few dollars in profit. And what's great about OfferUp is they actually pay for the shipping label, the, the buyer. So lots of margin there to be able to grow. But like I said, imagine you sell 20 of these at $5 a profit. That's a hundred bucks. And Boom. That's all you got to do. So just wanted to give you guys how I find products here and what kind of products we're always looking for. I mean, these are simple kits. We just sold one of the, the kits recently on the platform. So go ahead, do your product research, find this and just find anything. It could be cell phone attachments. It could be so many different replacement uh, things. You could do things like noise cancelers, earmuffs, whatever seasonal, go ahead and utilize this uh, on, on the platform and use eBay. eBay has been solid. As long as you find the right suppliers, you're able to drop ship from the eBay platform. So, all right, guys, enjoy that product. Go into that seller. So number one is finding products. Number two is listing products. You need a list. The more you list, the more products you have out there, the more searchability there is, and the more customers will find you. And all it really takes is one product. I remember just having one product that was just selling over and over and over and over and over and over again, drop shipped. And it was just making money. And it was literally, I, yeah, it probably took me about 30 minutes to find the product after I did product research. But when I listed the product, it was just cash just printing over and over and over again. So listing products is something you must be doing every day. I tell people anywhere from seven to 10 products a day. If you got that time to do it, great. If not, then at least do one to three a day and then start building it up. But seven to 10 is pretty solid for any type of store. That's what I would focus on. Listing products is what's gonna grow your business and it's gonna, what's gonna continue to allow multiple listings. The more listings, the more chances of you to make more money, the more customers, and the more data you're gonna get because you're gonna know what people are buying and what they're not buying, and it's gonna give you a mindset to be able to understand the market and what people are actually purchasing out there. And just a bonus, if you guys haven't seen my video on my drop shipping calculator, check this out. You get a free resource. It's a free calculator to be able to calculate based on what platform it is, how much you purchase it, how much you're getting it. It's a great uh, calculator and it's a profit and loss calculator. So you know if you're actually losing or if you're making profits, go ahead, watch that video and opt in. It's a free Google sheet to organize all your listings and all your products. So number two is listing products. Commit to listing products daily. In order for your business to grow, you need to list more products. Last thing, number three is fulfilling products. We just got a sale with a product. So how do you list? Because there is a downside where people are gonna probably ask like, oh, but can you drop ship an offer? I, I, I thought it was against their TOS, which is their terms of service. It is against their terms of service but there's a great way to be able to do it. So first is we go to our supplier, we order it, and it's gonna get shipped to them. The thing with OfferUp is they need you to literally print out the, they, they purchase a label, they need you to print out that label, and you need to send out that label so they know that you actually sent it. It's a way for OfferUp to know, and, and it's another way to cut out any drop shippers on the platform. 
but we found a way to be able to do this. So what we do is we already put an order for the product and what we're gonna do is we're going to print out, I got my printer here, my label, I got my printer. What we're gonna be able to do is we print this out, we attach it to a box that has a letter. And in the letter, in the note, it says, hey, thank you so much for supporting. You know, we just, just write it nice, neatly. You can either handwrite it just to personalize it or you guys can print it out if, you're, if you don't think your handwriting is that great. And you just put it in and say, hey, your item, if your item hasn't arrived yet, it will be on its way shortly. Any questions, here's the tracking. Um, let us know, again, thank you so much. And then if you wanna add something, whatever it is, you know, a greeting card, a card, just some extra stuff that will only cost less than a buck, do it. It'll make the client happy, it'll make the customer happy, and they'll most likely won't refund. But that's how we do it. So we just slap it on a product, and when OfferUp tracks it, they see that it moves. Once they know it moves and it's been delivered, it's been confirmed in OfferUp system that you sent it out. And it's a way to protect both parties. But as long as the product gets to the client, right, from a dip from our actual supplier, which is is eBay, as long as it gets to them, they're going to be happy because that's all they want. They paid for the product, but you adding an extra touch, doing the shipping label, sending it out and letting them know they're going to, like I said, they're gonna be happy. They're not gonna leave anything bad. They're not gonna ask for a refund or, or say anything. And we've done this over and over and over again. So this is how to be able to fulfill the products, okay? Fulfillment is really, really big. Obviously, it's what allows you to deliver on the promise of the product that you're sending out. So number three is fulfillment. This is how we fulfill it. This is how we get around it. If y'all ever have any questions, just drop it in the comments and let me know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. These are the three pillars. One is finding products. Two is listing products. And three is fulfilling products. If you guys can do this, you're pretty much running a solid business. And yeah, there's also some downsides where you have to go to the post office. It's not 100% possibly like uh, scalable, but this is a way to test the market. If you don't have a lot of capital, what you wanna do is you wanna build that capital, make your profits, and possibly invest into a product that you know is getting a lot of sales. This is how business works. It's gonna teach you the ins and outs of business. That's what I like about retail dropshipping is it builds discipline. It allows you to understand customer service, what's selling in the market, and these are basic things that we need to understand when we're growing. A lot of people just wanna go and build that multi-million dollar brand. Well, it starts with platforms like this. Back in 2017, I remember drop shipping on eBay starting that. 2017 and then 2018, 2019 drop shipped on Amazon. And now there's so many of these marketplaces that you can drop ship on and offer up one of them. I just gave you guys the keys to the kingdom to be able to run with it and make some profit. If it makes you an extra three, five hundred dollars or possibly a thousand in profit a month. And there's a lot of people I'm, I'm around in our mastermind as well with my partner. There's a lot that a lot of people that are doing multiple thousands and even five figures a month in profit but they all started off with just off-road dropshipping, understanding the process, building systems, scaling by hiring VAs and allowing the business to run and work for them. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the sub button. Really appreciate it. If this is stuff you guys like, go ahead and like the video so I just know what kind of content. I just wanna give out a lot of info, what I've been through, easy side hustles and businesses to start. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Y'all be blessed. Have a great one. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye. Oh.